but running back. Now, this is exciting because this is a complete overhaul. So, setting the table, out goes DeAndre Swift, out goes Jamal Williams, and then in comes David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. You and I both agree that that's an upgrade. So, let's talk about this running back room. Well, Brad Holmes has made no bones about it. Uh, 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 Jameer Gibbs is going to line up as a wide receiver a lot. He's a home run hitter, as a, in Brad's own words, he's a home run hitter as a running back, but they are really going to use him as a weapon. And so I, I think his role is already defined. We know that David Montgomery is a three down back in this league. He can block, he can catch passes out of the backfield. He's number one in the league in breaking tackles. Definitely an upgrade there. So I think those two positions are already set. What really gets intriguing is beyond those two. You've got Craig Reynolds, you've got Jamar Jefferson, You've got Greg Bell and don't forget Mohammed Ibrahim, who led the Big yes. Ten and undrafted. Um, he, he averaged 100 yards a game in college. The guy is explosive. He's steady. He's reliable. He's also a three down back. So you've got an overload there. Somebody's got to go. I, mean, I guess it would be how, how many? How many running backs do you think that we would keep? And based off of what you said, like what you alluded to right there with uh, Jameer Gibbs, is that they view him more as a weapon pass catcher. So does that mean that we keep more running backs? Well, I think we see he, he, he translates to Alvin Kamara. You hear the comparison to Jameer Gibbs all the time to Alvin Kamara. And if you look at the New Orleans Saints, who Dan Campbell and Aaron Glenn are both disciples of the Sean Payton system in New Orleans, um, you see that Alvin Kamara, they also have three or four running backs behind Kamara uh, traditionally. So I, I definitely right. think that we could see a minimum of four backs on the sideline every week, maybe even five. Now, I had heard uh, some other comparisons right here. And, you know, I know he is compared to some running backs, but I also heard Jameer Gibbs compared to Tyler Lockett. I don't like that comparison. Tyler Lockett's a, a deep threat. He's a long ball catcher. He's a speedster. Uh, he, he's an over-the-shoulder catch guy. I, I don't see that comparison very well. I think that the comparison is more made to the size and viewing him as a pass catcher and you can line him up he was lining up in the x when they were out in uh in the, in the otas so they plan on using him as a, a as a pass catcher against your weak guy i i can feel it in my heart in that last brad holmes interview where he said forget running back he, he those words came out of Brad Holmes' mouth on that national. He said, "Forget running back." He said, they, "You should see this guy run routes. This guy can run routes like a wide receiver." So, uh, I mean, it's definitely intriguing. And are you alluding to the most recent interview that Brad did with Peter Schrager? On the yes, season? absolutely. I encourage everyone out there to go out and watch this uh, interview. It is um, yep. an hour and fifteen minutes long, so it is quite lengthy. Set yourself some time aside, though, because it is outstanding. It actually gives the Brad Holmes backstory. We know where he came from. We know how he got to where he is, the path that he took, the people that made it possible for him. And it's so intriguing. And it really, really gives you a great sense of who this guy is and why he's successful. Yeah, I I love that the, the, the running back room for that reason because I do believe that they will have David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs out on the field at the same time more often than not. David Montgomery is our bell cow back, and they did just re-up Craig Reynolds. I really do believe that Craig Reynolds has a solid spot. I don't think his roster spot is in jeopardy at all because of what he can uh, also add to the special teams room. So I think that you've got, and, and don't forget about Jason Cabinda. Jason Cabinda is still on his roster. Are we going to just get rid of the whole traditional fullback thing because we drafted Sam Laporta and you know now we have James Mitchell? So those well, are questions that got to be Kabinda answered. Stalwart on special. He, he and, sure is. And that is, a, that is a place where Dan Campbell covets special teams players. Uh, he also can play fullback and tight end. He's a do-it-all guy. He's a guy that's not begging to get on the field. They don't pay him a lot. I don't see a, I don't see a scenario where Kabinda doesn't make the team. 
and that's and that's crazy. So now you have all. I mean, that is a great battle right there. It. it I, I think Jameer Jefferson, if I had to say, and you can put that into the comment. Which one of the running backs that are on this roster do you think is in the most danger of losing their roster position? And it should be noted also that Ibrahim had a lot of offers as an undrafted free agent, and he in turn also chose the Lions.